What's up, guys? So tonight I am going to be reading from Romans 8 and 18. Um, I've read several of these scriptures, but this one stuck out like a sore thumb. And I feel like it, it needed to be elaborated on. Jesus proclaimed here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows because of your faith. You may be mocked, ridiculed, or even physically persecuted. But take heart. Jesus also promised that he has overcame the world. John 16 and 33. You, you may experience suffering now, but the glory that awaits you will be worth it. So I know this is like, you know, something we're like, okay, uh, I really don't want to wait. I want it to happen right now. I want to be rewarded right now. And Jesus is simply saying, even though he did all of the work that Jesus did here on earth, all of the work, all of the good deeds, he really didn't get, his, his heavenly reward is the real reward. And a lot of us is like, well, you know, it, it may not seem much to you, but your faith and your final destination is very important. It's important where you're going to go when you leave this life. So let's just, let's just try to do the best we can when it comes to um, enduring. You know, let, let's go back to endurance. A lot of us don't want to endure. A lot of us don't want to go through, but a lot of that endurance will help you, will push you out to be who you are, who you are supposed to be. You're going to go into your, you're going to become your full self when you go through those trials and tribulations. And what do you mean? What do you mean by that? Whatever you go through helps build character. So if, if you go through a training, then you're prepared to be a police. If you go through, when you're going through a fire department, you want to be a, a, a firefighter, you have to go through training. And that helps you become who you're supposed to be. Without the training, you can't be a fire, firefighter. You won't know what to do. You won't know how to um, let the handle up, let the latch up. You need to go through that training. And in life, you need to go through the things that you're going through so that you can become who you're supposed to be in Christ Jesus, who you're supposed to be. I hope I'm making sense tonight. I hope I'm making sense tonight. The Bible talks about uh, idolatry. A lot of people have idols. You know, I'm switching the subject. I'm moving, I'm moving on. A lot of people have idols and things that, that are idols to them. And, and, and God is just saying, don't have any other gods before him. He don't care about nothing else. He don't care about nothing else, you know. All he asks you to do is stop worshiping the things here on earth that aren't important. Because you can't see him physically. You put somebody else in his place and that's who you give your praise and your honor to. You, 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 you can't idolize your kids. You can't idolize your marriage. You can't idolize your finances. Come on, Holy Spirit. Speak to me. Speak to me. Speak to me tonight. God, God ain't, he ain't, he ain't for that. I'm telling you, he ain't, he ain't with it. He ain't with it. And it's time for you to realize that you cannot idolize this stuff. You can't idolize the sun and the moon and the stars and not give glory to God. Oh, there's a higher being, baby. Yes, it's a higher being that also sent his son. And a lot of y'all don't want to believe in Jesus. A lot of y'all trying to discredit Jesus. But I'm just letting y'all know tonight you're not going to even get through you're not even going to get through those gates if you if you don't go through Jesus first. And I'm telling you this. And I understand what you're doing in this season, God. I understand that you're stripping a lot of people who are non-believers and you are turning, turning around for them. A lot of people who didn't believe is starting to believe. And a lot of people who are leading people to hell are going to be held accountable. It's important. It's important that you use your platform and it's important that you use... It's, it's important that you use your platform and it's, it's important on your day-to-day -day life that you are encouraging people to um, seek the kingdom. A lot of y'all aren't really um, pushing. I think y'all are just concerned about yourself. You're concerned, oh, well, I'm, I'm doing right, so I'm good. I must be good. But the goal is to get people to come with you. How many souls are you out here saving for real? Like, like what you out here doing? Like, just because you together, if you leave your brother behind, God speaks in the Bible about how you're supposed to love your neighbor. 
And, 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 and I'm like, what my neighbor got to do with me? But at the same time, everything God is about, he is for us helping other folk. He is for us taking care of other folk. He is for us loving our neighbors. More than you love yourself, just as much as you love yourself. And he said, be a fool, but we, we must understand that we have to help one another. We have to help one another get there. Father God, I just want to say thank you on today. Hold on, y'all. Let me get these braids in. I don't know if y'all know it's these braids back here. They, they, y'all know my hair is. But um, let's get back. Oh, Lord. Let's get back to um, what we're talking about. Let's get into prayer. Father God, I just want to say thank you. Father God, I want to thank you for today. Father God, I want to thank you for sunlight. I want to thank you for moonlight. I want to thank you for the afternoon. Lord, I want to thank you for the grass, the water, the stars, the stars that you know by name. God, I come to you tonight with my whole heart. Lord, I'm surrendering to you on tonight, God. Me and my followers and everybody that's here watching tonight, that's everybody that's scrolling past this video tonight. Lord, we're here with our whole hearts, God. We don't have anything but what we have right now, and it's just us. It's just me and you right now, God. And I need you to do a thing in our lives so magical, so magnificent that people know that you are God and that you sent your son here. Lord, help us help others believe. Help us to bring other people to you, God. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I lift you up. Lord, for those who are hurt, who are in pain, who are facing eviction, who, who are about to give up cars, who are about to just let go of debt. Lord, whatever whatever that they give back to you, God, I ask that you give it back to them 10 times fold, God. Lord, we surrender on here on tonight, God. Lord, we need you here on tonight, God. A lot of us are holding on to things that's making us drown, God. And Lord, once we let that go, we'll come above the surface, God. Lord, anybody that's holding on to anything that's, that doesn't benefit them, that isn't, that's hurting you, that's hindering you, God, even when it comes to failed marriages, even when it comes to a cheating husband, even when it comes for a, to a lustful wife, even when it comes to a wife that doesn't pay attention to her husband, God, I ask that you just... Do a thing tonight, Lord. Break every chain. Lord, every marriage that don't supposed to be let it in. And every every marriage that's supposed to be healed, mended, God. Lord, I thank you for what you're about to do. Lord, I thank you for what you're going to do. Lord, I thank you for what you have done, God. Lord, I know that you are Jehovah Jireh. Lord, I know that you are the Lord that heals. Lord, I know that you are my Abba. Lord, I know that you are the Lord that heals. Lord, you healed me when I didn't even know what was going on with my body, God. Lord, you healed me, and I know that you will do it for others. I know what you did for me, and I know what you will do, do for others. I see what you do for did, have done for others, and I know what you do for me. God, I trust you with my life. God, I trust you with everything in me. God, I need you to just show up tonight because it's somebody here that's watching on tonight that needs you, Lord God. Lord, we need you. Lord, we can't make it without you. Lord, the decisions, Lord, we, we have to start the day with you so we can set the tone for today. Lord, we can't go left or right without you because if we go left, we might get hit by a car. So before we even start our day, we need to just go ahead and give thanks. Lord, we need to stop worrying about everything else and we need to make, we need to make should we consult with you on what are the plans for the day? Lord, only you know the plans that you have for us. Lord, Lord, if it's your will, let, let, let your will be done. Lord, I don't want to make any decisions without you. Lord, I don't want to even make any sacrifices without you. Lord, whatever I need to do in this season, Lord, help me, God. Lord, help me, God. Lord, lead me, God. Lord, you said that you said you lead me beside the still waters, Lord. And I and I and I trust you. You said you said that I, you said that I lie down in green paths. You said you will restore my soul. You said that you will prepare a table in the presence in front of my enemies. And you have, and I trust you, you have shown up and shown out of my life. Lord, you took me from this to that. Lord, you cleaned me up inside. Lord, you cleaned me up white as snow. Lord, I'm nothing without you. And I don't want to do this thing called life without you. Lord, you are my king. Lord, I ain't looking for, you are my Obama. Lord, you are my Alpha and Omega. I ain't looking for nobody to save me but you. In Jesus' name.
In Jesus' name, when it comes to these children, God, I ask that you put your arms around them, God. They are so lost. They think that it's, they think that it's cool to be gangsters. They think that it's cool to tote guns. Lord, they think that it's cool to cuss their parents out. Lord, they think that it's cool to be disrespectful, Lord. But your wrath is not to be played with. Lord, I don't want to end up like Eli. Lord, I want to discipline my kids when they're doing wrong. Lord, I don't want Eli, you took, you, you, you. Because Eli didn't discipline his kids, Lord God. Lord God, you allowed something so tragic to happen. You allowed them to die on the same day, God. And Lord, right now, I want the parents that are not parenting their kids, God, I want you to step in right now, God, and allow them to start parenting their kids, God. Lord, I want to just, this message, Lord, I pray this message touch somebody right now so we can save some lives. Lord, they don't understand. They don't get it. They're they not reading their words, so they don't understand. Lord, because of, and even if your parents are bad people, the kids get the wrath of the parents. Look at how Saul acted and looked at how.